Hello everyone and welcome to 2024! Before we start again with proper videos next week, I want to quickly rant about why Prison Island from RCT2 Time Twister and Rollercoaster Heaven from Wacky Worlds are the two easiest and worst scenarios in the entirety of Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 and 2. Every scenario has a goal and there is a huge variety of goals possible. The most common one is needing a certain amount of guests in the park at a certain time. Forest Frontiers, the very first scenario in Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 requires 250 guests and 600 park rating at the end of year 1. This is really easy, but it is obviously possible to fail this. And this goes for any scenario with a deadline, as you can fail it by simply not meeting the requirements at the deadline. But what about scenarios without a deadline? Well, as long as the scenario has money enabled, you can still fail it if you screw up your finances. This is Bumbly Bazaar, which has the goal of making 10,000 euros of profit in a single month from shops and tolls. Not too difficult, but if you don't have enough and then get into debt, you can't build what you need to get to the goal. Sometimes it's possible to still get out of that debt, although it may take a very long time, but it's also possible to completely cut off any possibility of making any money at all by removing the path pieces right in front of the park entrance. The point is that as long as you have to deal with money, you can fail a scenario, even if it's technically still possible to beat it, but faster to just restart, which I count as failing. This leaves scenarios without money, of which there aren't a lot. Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 has two of them, Arid Heights and Mega World Park. Both of these have a guest goal without a deadline, but if you ever have your park rating below 700 for 4 weeks in a row, your park will be permanently closed, causing you to fail. RCT2 also has a few of these, with Lucky Lake, Extreme Heights and Great Wall of China Tourism Enhancement. These five are all fine, as while money is no issue, the park rating requirement of 700 isn't always easy and can cause you to fail. However, there are two more moneyless scenarios, which are Rollercoaster Haven and Prison Island, both from an RCT2 expansion pack. They require you to build 10 coasters of different types with certain stats in order to beat it. Notice that there is no fail condition here. You can't run out of money as there is no money and there's also no park rating requirement or something like that that can make you fail. This would not be that terrible if you could only get these stats on coasters by building a functional park, but even that's not necessary. You don't need any rides that guests can reach, or even any guests at all. You have an eternity to build some roller coasters with requirements that aren't too difficult to reach in the first place. The 7 excitement rating you need in Roller Coaster Heaven is fairly tricky to reach on some coaster types, but you get a bunch of really good ones, so it's not that difficult. Prison Island is way worse though, as its 6 excitement rating requirement is low enough that you can beat it by using just pre-builds that come with the game. Sure, you can beat Forest Frontiers with just one toilet and you can beat Fungus Woods with just this tiny setup, but that all requires advanced game knowledge to come up with. In Prison Island, you go to the build menu, see a pre-build with 6 excitement, plop it down and then you just move on to the next coaster type. Previously, I have said that Harmonic Hills is the worst scenario in the game, as it has too many restrictions to be fun, but I'd like to retract that statement. This is because while I had a negative experience playing Harmonic Hills, it is still a valid scenario that some people would enjoy. Prison Island, on the other hand, is so bad and bland that I have pretty much no experience playing it at all, as it's barely even a scenario to begin with. The fact that both of these unfailable scenarios come from the RCT2 expansions is another sign that those expansions were just a total mess. And that is the first video and first rant of 2024 over. I hope you've had a good Christmas and New Year and here's to a great 2024 with lots and lots of fun and exciting videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.